Welcome back to the spot. I hope you're not going anywhere because we have a pretty amazing guest coming in with some important gifts. You find out more about that. But before we get to that, a spot of music from Adekunle Gold. This is No Forget. Uh, I really love your daughter. I really love her. And Monica no buy that. Shut up. Sorry. Out of my house! He's a good man! So cute. What's her problem? Pardon? Why is she so cute? What's her problem? I don't, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's, it's there's she something, she there's something wrong about it. Why? One person. How one person why? One she, person being so pretty. fine. <laughs> How do you know you? Okay. And she's funny. Oh, oh my gosh. And she Even can on say. Twitter oh, and everything. Yeah. She's yeah. so funny. Very but back to the video. Yes. Um, so, no, you know, we're fans of Adekunle Gold. Yeah. Every yeah. live TV. Yeah. Um, and I love that his videos have been consistently um, uh, smart. Yeah. And interesting. And interesting. Yeah. Visually, yeah. stories. It's um, not just colors and bouncing around. Mm -hmm. But you can tell that he takes every single thing seriously. And he is involved in the detail of everything. Yeah. I like so it. I, yeah. I like the fact that the song tells the story. Like this, I'm sorry, the video tells the story of the song. Of the song you know, so you see it. That's always, that's always nice. That's, yeah, that's, that's the point of just seeing that. Kind of fine bit coming out of the house, of course. <laughs> Good guy, of course. So now he's thinking, okay, she's now reminiscing. Oh, you got a bike now? How, no, she's reminiscing of what it was, you know, like there's when they were dating. Or like okay. Where, you know, whatever. She's, really, she's just. <laughs> looking at pictures of when they were sort of like, you know, toasting each other and all that kind of stuff. He's forever carrying people. But he had I remember someone teased him about that, like he always carrying somebody and he said, hey, now I'm practicing for when I carry someone for my wedding. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so it's a really, really, it's just a really sweet video. And I think, to be honest, because everybody has this thing of, oh, are they coming go and sing me out together? Or are they so not cute, together? Yeah, everyone's it's like, oh, cute. my goodness. Like, oh, this is how they really are in real life and, and all that kind of stuff. So oh, yeah. it's cute. Call Adekule and ask him. Uh, no, uh, it's okay. We, 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 we know what we need to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's an awesome song. It, it is, is one of my favorites on the album. It's mm -hmm. probably my second favorite on the album. Um, and it's a really, really lovely video, and Clarence shot it. Yeah. So Clarence Peters did a good job. With always, the video. always. Yeah, yeah. But as you can see, I'm, I'm like kind of restless. I can't sit still. Yeah. Because it's your birthday. Not even just it's the birthday. I'm thinking about the guest that's supposed to be coming up. There's a reason I said gifts. I'm, okay. I'm trying to like um, subliminal just. Subliminal. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. hint. Yeah, hint, hint. So when he comes, people should be mentioning that word, gifts, 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 gifts. <laughs> well, okay, well, we'll see what they can do, do for you. Don't be so, no, don't be so obvious. If you, there's a move that I'm see the best. Okay, okay. See, see, all right. Don't be so obvious. Gifts. I'll follow Everywhere. you. Everywhere, you say gift. Yeah. Ah, how are you doing? It's a lovely day to be gifting. Ask Somebody, me. okay. Just, all right. Just be saying that, all right. I'm with you. I get it. <laughs> Thank you so okay. much. Thank you so much. So it's time for our guest of the day to come in. Um, and he is um, an entrepreneur. Mm hmm and in, in a different sense, we don't have a lot of entrepreneurs doing what he's doing. So we're going to find out about yes. what he does do when he comes in. Let's welcome Jide Ikwai. Come, come on in. Ah, Jide, welcome. Best friend. Hello. Best friend. Hello. Best friend. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, you are so gifted. Yeah, I hope I hope you know that. Hi. You're very, so very gifted. gifted. So, such yeah. a gifted Thanks for coming. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Um, Fine, thank you. You're an actual you problem, right? Yeah, you just really, yeah let me just gift you. Let me just gift you with that seat. Thanks. Gift thanks, it to thanks. you. I'll gift right. myself this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Uh, how's um, nice how's business? Mm -hmm. Business is very interesting. Yeah. So tell us yeah. about the business. Yes. Okay, well, um, Kix is actually the first innovative and social footwear brand in Africa. Mm. Um, I had a very uh, interesting challenge. I'm a size 48, so I usually <laughs> don't get my size. Okay. And um, when I do find my size, it's usually not what I like mm -hmm. or the right kind of fit. So I started asking myself, uh, why don't I learn how to make my own shoes? And so I went to a school in the Netherlands where I learned Ooh. how to make sneakers. And then I realized that it wasn't going to be that easy to start to make them because of obviously the process of manufacturing, right? So I started asking questions. Uh, what's next? How do we do this? Uh, and then I found out something called crowdfunding, yeah. which is actually basically using social media and going online to basically share a project and then get, get people to, for it. to back it up, you mm -hmm. know. So 
uh, I shot my video whilst I was in Netherlands about what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And then I got onto a site called Kickstarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in about um, 40 days, we raised about $20,000. Oh, that's wow. amazing. And then that was used to outsource the production to a Dutch technical partner. Oh, and wow. Yeah, and okay. from that, we, we supplied uh, pre-ordered shoes mm -hmm. to almost four continents. People really? from Guatemala. This is, this is, this is off the start, like from so the can beginning. Can we take a look at yeah, that? Yeah, sure. sure. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to take a quick break. Um, and then when we come back, we're going to take a look at some kicks and uh, talk a little bit more about uh, the brand and, of course, our topic of the day. Please stay with us. guys welcome back to the spot and um, we are still talking about keeks I pronounced it right yes you got okay, it right. so I have so many questions <laughs> right. um, my first one is about the crowdfunding right so it was literally just a video a bio about you and what you're trying to do and people just investing well it, it wasn't just a video actually the video was what you would call a pitch mm. which is basically right. a two-minute video that just summarizes everything, everything but then doing. below the video you have a lengthy explanation of okay. what you're trying to achieve who you are where you're coming from images of the designs that were done um, there's a social element to the brand as well because we also want to give back okay. and I think we, we basically shared a lot of our plans with people because we actu actually want to set up a factory here as well oh, fantastic. and we're going through that process already so wow. we needed to start with baby steps and then get people to buy into the vision okay mm -hmm. so right now where's the where's the major factory where you, where you guys producing from so at the moment we've got a Dutch technical partner that we're mm -hmm. working to, um, with to produce uh, we actually have um, been nominated for a grant. It's nice. called uh, GEM. It's a World Bank initiative okay. and uh, the federal government. So we're waiting for that and we're working towards that to then set up locally here. Okay. Yeah. But is, oh, no, yeah. problem. Oh, <laughs> no problem. Sorry, can Absolutely. you explain the logo to me? Okay, well, Keeks, the logo is actually Chop Knuckle. Ah. It's the fist bump. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Let me see, turn it around. <laughs> Love it! You know what I'm saying. It's okay. right there. Oh. Okay, no, it makes Shop sense. Knuckle. It makes oh, sense. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Right. Nice. So it's it's all about with we're, we're trying to say every time you wear a pair of kicks and you see somebody else wearing it, you need to chop knuckle chop and knuckle. celebrate the impact we intend to create in Africa. Oh, that's oh, fantastic. Absolutely. It's, right. it's, it's amazing that you guys are doing because the I had a good look at them outside. The right. quality, I have yeah. to say, your Dutch partners Thanks. are doing a pretty right. amazing. No, job. this is a six and a half. I'm normally a five. <laughs> can you imagine? I'm also, if I'm you don't make that work, I'm also a six you don't put and a half. that shoe back. Because if I don't have a pair, you don't get it. Wow. Make it work. I'm gonna wow, tell you guys. that right now. I thought we had a plan oh, here, but so what's the largest? Let it just go out the What's window. the largest size that you guys go up to? Well, at the moment we've, we're, we've got a size 47, okay. uh, which I'm a 48, and yeah. then this works for me because yeah. there's a little bit more room, room in, you in know, the around yeah. the toes to wiggle. So yeah. this is a 47, okay. but we intend to get as much as 50 in the future. Do you? I mean, do you still work on the pre-order? mostly or are you just stocking sizes and styles as you as any other brand would or are you still you know kind of going you're tending towards the pre-ordered um uh, well, well actually we've gone past that okay. I mean a lot has happened in the last one year okay I mean we've been on two fashion shows yeah we're at the Heineken uh, Lego okay, fashion, and fashion and design week, week. Uh, we were at the African fashion uh, and, and design, design week. week we were in Madagascar for okay. something called origin Africa and basically, we started retailing in a lot of uh, locations within Nigeria. Okay. And we're also going to be expanding to other African countries as well. Nice. And then people, pre -order, people order online as well, and okay. then we deliver to them. Oh, that yeah. So we've got really products cool. yeah. on the ground at the moment. Great. Yeah. OK. That's well, awesome. Good to know. Great to know. And this has been going for how long? Um, we started retailing officially in May 2016. Wow, mm -hmm. so less than a year. Yes. May 2016. Great, great, great stuff. S sometime around that, yes. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. But you guys, I mean, the, even the branding and everything, the, the quality, it, it seems like you're well on your way to, to some great things. So congratulations. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. Thank it's, you. Yeah. <laughs> it's Maoli's birthday, he wants a pair. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we'll I mean, work why, on why, something why, why customized for him. No, you guys can sort that out later. What happened to yeah. Subtle? What happened to Subtle? Because, I mean, I was just so tired of dancing around the whole thing. <laughs> mm. so that's kind of the whole point. Let's, let's get into it with our Small topic. Small time people now say, I'm the one that's mean in this house, you see? No, <laughs> don't oh, worry. Yeah. We'll just, we'll let's um, get into it with our topic of the day, yeah. which is um, 
titled Giving In and Giving. Um, okay. Or do I want to switch it around? Giving or giving in? Giving and giving in? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. What's so, it about? It's about uh, drawing the line between when do you when do you give and when do you say enough is enough? Aha. Uh -huh. um, you know, you'll come across people who you've known for a while who um, understand your temperament and, and know how to almost, I don't want to say the word, well, I guess maybe misuse oh. your... Oh, yeah. You'll take your kindness for weakness, take your kindness kind of? for okay. weakness yeah. and always know the right kind of buttons to push in order to get something from you right. constantly. Um, and it's about when do you just like, even though you are close to these people or they might you even be your family enough. members, like that family members are probably one of the top people on the list who know how <laughs> to continuously like mm -hmm. take, 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 take. Mm -hmm. And you give because, you know, it's blood. Um, Although I always argue that, look, maybe family, but at times you've got to know when and where to draw the line. Uh, but we have to go on a quick break because I guess we really, we, we got into keeks heavily. <laughs> when we come back, we'll be getting into our topic a little bit more. See you guys in just a moment. Hi, welcome back. You're still watching The Spot. Remember that if you'd like to join in on the conversation, you can do so on Facebook, Twitter. You can send us an email on entertainment at ebonylifetv.com. And of course, you can check out old episodes on youtube.com forward slash ebonylifetv. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. All right, so we're still here with Jide talking about giving and giving in. Zainab? Over to you. That was the only thing that was <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, let's share, uh, I guess, instances of where, um, in case, in situations of family now, where you felt like you've had to draw the line. Well, um, it's always a very, very difficult line to draw. And I think the people who succeed the most when it comes to taking is they also understand that you need to build something called that emotional deposit. Yeah. So people who take, they need to find ways to also give back. Um, and I come from a family that is not um, very demanding uh, because obviously I grew up without my parents. I'm oh. the only child. So okay. um, I wouldn't say I've been taking as well, but mm -hmm. it's been a little bit of a balance. Uh, maybe one or two scenarios where people who you're not very close to come to you I and they that. ask for things. You probably want to feel like you need to give, mm -hmm. you know, at that point in time. But then if it goes beyond a certain limit, then you need to pull the plug. And, yeah. you know, your no is your no. Yeah. So you need to learn when to say no. And I think it's always a best of judgment issue. You're mm -hmm. never, there's no hard and fast rule to it. Oh, you know, yeah. you need to basically judge the situation based on what is being asked as well as what you're capable of giving. Yeah, yeah. You can't give more than you have. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? So Although people, that reminds people me of that. Um, I remember seeing a, um, a video of Inyanla. Um, Inyaya? No, Inyanla. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, she's a, um, she's a writer, talk, yeah. talk yeah. show host. Yeah. She's life inspirational coach. life coach. Uh -huh. yeah. And she was having a, a talk with somebody, and um, they were talking about helping others and helping yourself. Yeah. And I remember her saying that what people forget is that you, you need to have in order to be able to give. Yeah. Right? And um, she said it is important to be self, selfish. Yeah. Or, and, and, and I think she termed it self full. Mm -hmm. Okay, that yeah, 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 cup, yeah. She, she the referenced the Bible over. verse. Yes, about, it has know, to be yeah, running over for running you to over. Give. So yes. she yeah. said, you know, you need to, your cup needs to be full. So everything in the cup is for you, but everything that runs out of that cup is for everybody else. Yeah. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that philosophy okay. because sometimes you also need to give to get. There are scenarios where you need to sow a seed, if you mm -hmm. want to call it that. Okay. You True. might not have that much to give, but usually it's not a case of someone asking. It's more like you're just giving. You're just mm -hmm. giving. You usually, right. usually I, I, I find it hard, really hard to say no when like, I actually do have it. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of the... Mali, I need five million. Because I feel like... <laughs> you need how much? Five million. 
You got me? And you know the people it's okay. hardest with? It's okay. the people who are very close to you. That's what I'm saying. They know, exactly. they know you, you have it. <laughs> you know, and the, so the worst really part hard. of it is they're calculating for you yes. what you have. Mm. They seem to forget that's there's so much more. That's one of the most painful more. things. You know, like when you know yeah. Yeah. Old, someone's supposed to give you maybe just 5K. And yes. Now, but 5K now for you is nothing. Just, you know. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That 5K can be something. Uh, uh, can be something. Meanwhile, at that point in time. I think that's the part that I, that is that upsets or frustrates me the most because they, um, they from the outside looking in they're like hey boy it's just exactly. 5k but they're not yes. they don't know what your expenses are what your own Absolutely. debts may be or Absolutely. what your own needs may be and Absolutely. so when and i think it happens it happens a, a lot. lot all the it time let me ask you guys let me ask it's you guys this. um so given or given in with the family members that's fine you know the whole thing with beggars and people on the street and yeah everything. you know it's, it's always a strange um there was this lady opposite the hotel that i was living at she stands at the atm at the mall she just chills there all evening. From like 7 p.m., she's just no. there like just chilling. So whenever someone comes to withdraw money, she's she like, oh, oh, God, oh, blah, blah, blah. And I, I found it really annoying, um, mainly because one of the days I was, I was taking out quite a bit of money. I needed to pay for something big. So I had all this like money, and she's there mm -hmm. begging. I'm like, ah, should I, should I? Mm -hmm. But I was annoyed that she, she's just standing there she's the whole day. By like, the, yeah. You don't know what somebody had to go through to work to come withdraw that money. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, if I, that last 5K, they're withdrawing. With the withdrawing, withdrawing is yeah. everything yes. that they have. Yeah. Yes. In the end, in, in, in the end, I gave it to her. But when I was walking away, I, I felt annoyed. Yeah. I was annoyed. Which is not why. Which is how you you shouldn't feel. I was annoyed you with feel her. Upset yeah. I was, I was like forgiving. Well, I, I think it's also a <laughs> cultural issue. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're in Europe or in other parts of the world, we you know here we tend to have a very close knit society whereby everybody believes. They need to support each other. Mm -hmm. each other yeah. so, so people all, sometimes have this bad. sense of entitlement. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, they take... You know, they feel okay. you, you, you need... I think she felt entitled them. because yes, she would yeah. actually be upset when people would walk away and, and not... And I'm like, and you're, you're just her. chilling there the whole yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a it great... It is a good business you know, model, though. You know, <laughs> you know, to stand but, by the But ATM. also, it's just a cultural thing. And, you know, it takes a little bit of orientation to... To get beyond so when it comes to that, where world. do you draw the line with um, giving That's or it. just, you it's know? Being, it it's case to, by case. It is case by <laughs> yes. case. And it has Best to of be, judgment. It has to be mm. something that you don't feel weighted Pressured. by. So you, you just give effortlessly. So if your heart tells you to do it, then just do it. Yeah. Because um, I've had instances with, um, let's say, uh, um, you know, a beggar or mm -hmm. something. I think I, I might have shared the story before. Somebody came to my mother's store and she, so what she does is that she'll either give them food or um, yeah. money or whatever. So they had given this guy, I think, some food and they also gave him some money. And he looked at the cash mm -hmm. and okay. he dropped it. He dropped the cash? And then kept on going. I think it was like maybe like 200 naira or something. And he dropped it and kept on walking. Oh boy! So that is like a selective beggar, somebody yeah. who has options, yeah. right? Yeah. Because two hundred is because to be honest, when, it, when is it comes to the whole angle of begging, whether it's from family members or from strangers, it's 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 always such an interesting topic, and I feel like we definitely have a lot more to go with that. So yeah, let's get back to that right when we come back from this break. This is the spot. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to The Spot. We are hanging out with an awesome creative designer. Jide is in the house of the Keeks brand. Yeah. As you can see, I'm still angling for my gift. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 I yeah. beg you guys. Allow me to. Allow me to. Well, we are talking about giving we and giving in. He giving might give in, in with so all this. With all, yeah, with all the hints know. you're dropping. You never know. Basically, <laughs> 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 Charlie, chop no cool. Yes, yeah, so chop no cool, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You're shameless. You're shame. He's like, here. Who shame him? Shameless. All right, so um, I want to talk about something called like there's a there's a the concept. I don't know if it's really a concept, but it's something I've seen. The phrase um, giving fatigue. Giving, giving fatigue. fatigue. Giving fatigue. Okay. Right. When you're just tired of giving. So yes. and it's mostly. So I, well, I saw it on social media, and it was referring to social media. So a lot of times, I don't know how this happens. Well, I know it happens all over the world actually, but in Africa, we've now we are very much into this. Um, um, crowdfunding, but not with Kickstarter or um, oh, what's the other one? Indiegogo, Indiegogo or, or the or GoFundMe. Yeah. So a lot of times we just, you know, somebody will come to the, you know, to your timeline or to Instagram or Facebook or whatever, and post, you know, pictures and a story and say, oh, this is what's going well, on with me, um, or this is what's so. going on with the family member. I'm trying to raise money for this. I'm trying to raise money for that. So there's not a week that goes by where I don't see maybe five or six of these um, 
you know, Requests campaigns help, or people yeah. asking for help with school fees or treatment. I mean, we've seen even celebrities do it. You mm -hmm. know, we've seen a lot of oh, Nollywood actors or a musician that needs a transplant or something like that. And the term giving fatigue was coined for when all these things keep coming at you and they, people keep expecting you to drop something yeah. for everyone. You, at some point, you just get tired because mm -hmm. you're like, ah, which one do I choose? Am I a bad person if I don't give to all? Does this person's need overarch this person's need? So it becomes a thing where it actually then it becomes a thing of anxiety and just you're just tired and you're just stressed out because you just feel like, I mean, I've given to, okay, this person needed this and this. Okay, so if I don't give to the person that has cancer, does that mean you know, I'm a bad person. If I don't give to the person that has school yeah. fees, does that mean I'm a bad person? So, I mean, what are your thoughts on that, on the so many pleas coming through, and how do you decide who to give to, what to give, how much you can spare to give? See, yeah. again... Uh, again oh, go you want me to go? Ahead. No, no, you go, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> I, I think, obviously, fundamentally, we have a social flaw. Yeah. We don't have social security in Nigeria. Most definitely. A lot of the things that people are doing, you know, on social media and asking for this and that, if they had health benefits and things like that, they wouldn't have they to wouldn't ask. have to do that. In our own case, we had an emotional deposit. We weren't just asking people to dash us money. Mm -hmm. We we're asking people to pre-order products, which they were going to get, get. and we deliver to them. Yeah. And then there's also a social benefit, which is we're also giving back. Yeah. We're not just taking, we're also giving back. So I think for people who want to go the route of, you know, asking the general public to fund an idea or a project or a cause, they need to basically um, look for ways to also have emotional deposits. Mm. Okay. They need to give back as well. Okay. I don't know I if that makes sense. Yeah, it, I, I it, get what you in mean in terms of a project, but like not when, for example, like if someone is ill, if someone needs, is Ill, it's, it's, it's hard to get. I mean, the emotional deposit might be just the feeling it, of, oh yes. my gosh, but the way, I need yes. to help. The way I feel, person. especially with the health thing, the way I feel is it's, it, it, it can get maybe even annoying. But mm. to be honest, unless you're thrown in that situation, you can never imagine the sort of desperation. That's that well, the system is flawed. In. How do you correct that? No, no, that's, no, that's a good question, but we have to quickly switch to the TV um, to check out a kicking back that I had with uh, Mayokun. So, there you go. To one of my favorite segments on the show. It's called Kicking Back. This is where I tap into my celebrity black book and bring you a superstar right here at the Maryland City Mall. And I'm gonna be doing some skating at Skate City with a very special person. And it's time for you to find out who I'm hanging out with. Come with me. Welcome. So guys, I'm here with Mayo Cool, the coolest, the flyers, making me feel kind of simple right now. And today we're gonna head into Skate City to get our skate on and hoverboard stuff on, yeah? You've been practicing? I'm trying. Okay, let's go. I'm going to You're doing the hoverboard, right? Yes. Okay. When you're not in the studio or performing, what do you like to do for fun? Video, video games. games, oh my gosh, what is wrong with you people? Everything is about video games. FIFA, uh -huh. right? FIFA, oh, gosh. Then. Let's talk about the music. Yes. Yeah. What are you up to right now? Right now, I'm working on my first official single for this Okay. I'm trying to switch the video. Like. Is you taking the video in Nigeria? Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Can you tell us the name of the song? Shade. Shade. Yeah. Why do you guys like to use names like Babe, Zainab? Zabi. Like Zainab. What's wrong with Zainab? I don't get it. Oh. So have you thought about like a list of people that you want to work with this year? This year? Yeah. If you ask me, not my management, but if you ask me personally, yeah. I don't want to feature anybody this year. Okay. But, so you want to showcase but I'll yourself? Work, I'll work on, yeah. Like, I just want to work on myself first. Now, if you could work with anyone, Mm -hmm. That's alive or dead? Or dead. It could be an African artist uh, or an international artist. Who uh, would it be? Uh, two people that came to my head now. Okay, two. Bob Marley and Michael Jackson. Oh. And what is it like working with David? Great, um, like, contrary to what people think, the thing is going to be bossy. You know, like, the way people are just going to be busy. Yeah. So it's just working with normal artists. Another artist, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I think is a good thing because sure. they understand what it's like you know, to be an artist to be an artist place. yeah well i think i might need a quick break 
So Mayoko and I are gonna keep on going. And in the meantime, you guys can check us back out at the loft. And I'll see you in just a moment. I'm glad we didn't actually catch any shots where you did you fall? <laughs> I didn't actually. Okay, I'm very well, we right. both right. didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Both of you? We both didn't. So did they slow it down or were you guys just like No, chilling? we actually did really well. <laughs> yeah, we did well, if you didn't fall, you did well. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's all we can ask. Okay. Yeah. I, I would never go close to that. The closest I've been yeah. there so is the hoverboard. Is oh, the hoverboard, yeah. 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 I'm falling up. You wouldn't do that. skates. No, I, I wouldn't try it. Not right now. <laughs> no. I think skates, skates are even scary. safer than... Um, is it? Well, yeah. if, if it's the four wheels, yes? Yeah. No, no, I, I don't... <laughs> ice skating is the one that I don't... I don't I'm not trying no, to fool with. Ice skating is not even... It's not that bad. Okay. Until, really? you're, you until your, your fingers balance. get cut off when somebody <laughs> skates over your hands. But <laughs> it's time for another break, guys. We'll be right back here on the spot. Stay with us. Hi guys, welcome back to The Spot. And um, today we've been talking about giving in and giving. And before we had the insert, we were, gosh, I completely forgot where we were. We were talking about giving fatigue. Giving fatigue, yes. yes. Yeah, so talking fatigue. about uh, social media, um, crowdfunding for yeah. different things, yeah. like people being ill, and when do you School say- fees, hospital bills, all of those How things. do you know who to give to? And mm -hmm. then, you know, people putting pressure on you, making you feel bad. Like I've seen people who now go on celebrity pages and attack yeah. them and be like, ah, you should be giving, you should, yeah. should be doing more when you have, blah, blah, blah. And the story is the same. You know, you don't know what's in another man's pocket. I could look like the biggest celebrity, drive the fastest cars in the world on my Instagram, but that might not be my actual reality. Yeah. What you see is an iceberg. The rest is just... It's yeah. just yeah. crumbling exactly. underneath. Exactly. Um, exactly. And I think it's tricky with with those type of, with, with like medical crowdfunding, mm -hmm. because you get so many of them, and then you get people who are using them as opportunities to make money to for just themselves. just make money. There's yeah. definitely like going to be some you, dishonest you, people in there. You don't it's too hear, easy. you know, you hear about the initial thing of, okay, we need to have this surgery tomorrow mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Like I saw one of a lady who needed like heart surgery or something like that. They mm -hmm. needed to make two million in like two days or something. Mm -hmm. And you start to ask questions like, okay, Where's the evidence yeah. for us? Why is this suddenly, like, in two days' time that you guys then need, decide sudden, to yeah. do this thing? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you get the two million. Then what happens after? You yeah, haven't, like, you don't anything. know what's happening, yeah. if she's okay and stuff like that. Then you come back with, oh, you need maintenance costs mm -hmm. and stuff. So and it fair, just, though. it's, it's, I mean, just as you said, it's, it's really, it's, a, it's, at least I can speak for Nigeria. It is an indictment on the country and the systems that don't work. If health insurance worked properly as it should, if there were social, yes. if people's pensions yes. were paid when they were supposed to be paid, yes. you wouldn't have older people out here in the streets begging after working for 20 or 30 years of their lives, you know? Mm -hmm. So Fair it's enough. a if, sad if you, thing. If you think about it, we're all doing the same thing because um, it's like giving to Red Cross or giving to everyone donates to these big charitable organizations. We don't know where the money is going. Half the time it doesn't go there. Yeah. Most of the people who donated to Haiti, the Clinton Foundation, yeah. Red Cross, they're in huge trouble. Yeah. There's a lot of waste. Huge trouble because yeah. of the Haiti thing. People donated millions yes. and billions and when they actually went to check the houses that they built, almost non-existent. Yeah. So the same with, with um, what you said about people raise the two million after that, we don't know where the, most, most of the time, we're probably never gonna know mm. what the people are gonna use. Sometimes when I give someone money on the streets, I'm like, is he gonna buy drugs? Is he gonna buy food? Right. I'll never know. You know, I've yeah. had somebody that I gave food to, and this was no? in London. Um, I was coming out of McDonald's and then I had like an extra burger, so I gave it to him mm -hmm. and he said no. He wanted yeah, the money. He wanted, he wanted the money. money. Yeah. He wanted the money. Yeah. 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 But you know another trick to giving is, if you want to give money, mm -hmm. give money you can part with, so you don't yes. have to think. So about you don't have it. to. Yes. Yeah. You know, because when somebody thought, comes to you and asks for a loan, <laughs> and you know in your heart of heart <laughs> that that money is not going to come, come back, back. just give, give what it. you can part yes. with and forget and about it. I know you've given. To be honest, I think what yes. one of the biggest <laughs> compromises that I do, especially, you know, sometimes people come up to you and say, "Oh, I'm, I'm stranded. I need three thousand naira to take a bus to back here. to something, something." I'll tell you, "Hey, I can give you two hundred. And I can only hope that other people will give you money for it. Mm, that's that's my contribution to your yeah. cause. And then yeah. that's, 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 a, that's, that's a good the way best. to do it. That's the I, best I that I can do. Sorry, yeah. Um, no. I wanted to 
ask, you know, you talk about how Keeks um, is more is also giving. I wanted to know what it is that, you know, as a you brand, what, what is it that you uh, support? Is it a particular charity or is it just whatever, um, or is it a bunch of different things? Okay, I, I think the focus for us is basically to give back in a very sustainable way. Okay. Rather than give people fish, we want to teach them how, how to, to fish. fish which is a very different way of giving, and it's also more sustainable. Mm. So we have something called um, the One Day Shoe Project. Okay. Um, part of my research I did in the Netherlands was how to create a pair of shoes within a day. Mm -hmm. oh. And then this can be taught to people because they're like templates. Oh, And you know, okay. it's basically more like a cut and paste kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. we create the shoes, we pay them, you know, for, for, for making the shoes, and it's a continuous process. Mm. But recently also we partnered with the Dustbin Estate Project. Oh. Yeah, yes. So the kids, they, they pick up street kids in Ajegunle who live on refuse dumps mm -hmm. and um, they, they, they feed them, they educate them. So I think that's the cause that we were very passionate about. Mm -hmm. So we have given them shoes, we're going to be funding them in one way or the other, mm -hmm. you know, so that those kids can be taught how to survive to as well them. as educate them. Yeah. Because yeah. Once, once they have the basic education, then they can go, they, they can yeah, go anywhere. Yeah. So that's, that's a more sustainable way of Fair giving. Enough, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. We have to say bye for now. I think it's been very interesting to hear about the Keek story and um, to also flesh out the importance of giving and also um, giving in and knowing when not to. Yeah. So Absolutely. thank you guys so much for tuning in. Do check out Keeks online, um, www.keeks.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can check them out on Instagram as well. Uh, yes. And um, we'll see you guys At next Keeks time. Drive. At Keeks Tribe, so join the tribe. We'll see you guys <laughs> another Absolutely. time. And Chop happy knuckle. birthday, Maui. Happy birthday, Maui. <laughs> happy birthday, dude. Chop knuckle. Chop <laughs> knuckle. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Party everyone. tonight at the Keeks, Keeks headquarters. <laughs> yes, okay. So. Please sign our wall. Okay. We have a blackboard there. There's chalk. Bye.